You left your tea on the bench, look. You left your tea on the bench. Oh, yeah. You want to get that down, yeah? You want to get that down. Do you know why you want to get it down, yeah? There's a reason why you want to get that down, yeah? <laughs> You're going to Cambridge hey. to get the new port again, isn't it? Because we're not staying in the workshop now. Because there's nothing much left to do. No, there ain't actually. We're going to head off to Silverstone. <laughs> Right, we're at Silverstone. Yeah. So what are we doing here then? Why have you dragged us out here? Minis, the classic minis and the Metro Cup. But I want to have a look at the Metro Cup because I'm quite interested in that. Oh, right. You might, you might have a whiz in that then. Well, I think... Oh, I don't know really because money's a thing, isn't it? Um, to do the Metro Cup, I reckon you can do it for 15 grand. Really? Just season. All in. Yeah. Sounds all right, isn't it? Where the, the mini challenge is 45, 50 plus, isn't it? So that's why we're here to see what the Metro's oh, I want to see like. what the Metro's are. Oh, all right. And make okay. a decision then, I think. All right then. Okay. Also, I was going to ask you, do you fancy having your ears scrooted? Oh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Turn, is it what they want me to get in, do they? Oh, okay. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> with Paul Deacon, who's one of the drivers in the Metro, MG Metro, is cup. it Challenge Cup or just Cup? It's just Cup. Just, just cup. cup. So tell us about yourself, Paul, a little bit of history. You always ask the drivers a little bit of their history. Um, just tell us a bit of history and about your car. And um, oh, I'm 56, getting, getting too old for this really, but if I didn't do it now, I never would. No, never too old. Um, 56 is fine. But... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I've, I've, I'm a mechanic, so I've always been around cars. I've had the car about 20 years. Because um, it is original found... MG Metro. It is, yeah. Because um... a lot of these others are the MG uh, Metro, uh, uh, Rover yeah. Metro 100s, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, this, this was a turbo challenge car. It was uh, Nick Swift's uh, first race car. What was it? So, uh, it's got yeah. a bit of provenance in. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, he caught me at Snetterton and, and waved and uh, whatever else and said it's still going. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's 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 such good fun though. It yeah. really is. You smile from the minute you go out. I mean, I've only been doing it for eighteen months. Yeah. And the MG family uh, just take you in. Uh, if you've got any questions, no matter how stupid they are, this is a thing. You know, because you always think, oh, I don't want to ask that question because. Yeah, look what, right what I like market. about it is that the answer, like you ask one question and you're told everything. There oh, isn't yeah. any holding back, oh no, I can't tell you this because it's my little secret. No, it's no secret. Everything's here, just right. out in the open and it's brilliant. <laughs> it's such it a is. laugh. It is, it is. And I say, your wife bakes away with the cakes, so there's always cakes on offer. Yes, I've seen um, those, thank uh, you. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> and, and, but that's the, whole, that's the whole weekend, that's the way it goes. It's, it's such fun. So, with your car, what's the difference in your car to the to the uh, Metro 100s? Um, right, it, well, so it started off as a Metro Turbo Challenge car, so it was um, 1293cc with a turbo. Uh, 
I thought it would be cheaper to go with a 1380 um, non-turbo engine. Yeah, normally that's right, yeah. Um, simply for cost. You know, everything I'm doing is on a budget. Um, because most racing is not cheap. Yeah, so yours is the A series engine. What is the A series? Where the, the Metro 100s are the, uh, K, the K series, series engines. Yeah. 1.4 yeah. K and series. And they're 1.4, 16 valve. Um, but I'm allowed to run a limited slip diff, um, which makes up a little bit on yeah. the power advantage. Yeah, the corners, yeah. This year, your full, first full season in it? This or? is my first full season. Um, the first race was, was a real eye opener. Because uh, you always think, uh, you know what, I, I'm, I, I can drive fast on the road, I'm, I'm good and that. But when you get on the track, people are really good. You know, some <laughs> yeah. of the drivers are really, really good. And you don't see their skill watching on the sidelines. No. And, no. and that I found was absolutely yeah. Always amazing. right there, always getting the back end out there, always doing this and it's yeah. little tweaks and yeah. things that and you see. I, I can enjoy my race as much watching the leaders or somebody faster coming past me seeing the things that you can't see normally yeah you know yeah yeah so, no, that's yeah. good because you took you took mark and i out <laughs> i struggled obviously to get in because of the leg and the height i mean mark obviously didn't struggle <laughs> um but yeah it's good it was it was the first lap i found when we went out because obviously i hadn't been out in a car for a long while and i was a bit oh god because um, because the car moves well, I don't think people realize how much a car actually moves on the circuit and yeah. after the first lap the second lap was coming in and I was like oh yeah this is all and then by the third lap I was smiling and I was watching <laughs> what you were doing and yeah now he's done good there he was good there you know and that was you know yeah, and that, it yeah. was just really brilliant but the yeah. thing is we go out the tyres are cold so it slides a lot more and that as a, as a beginner was a hard thing to learn because you think oh wow the others are getting away from me um, but they're used to it sliding yeah so that's, yeah. that's, a, that's a learning thing but you've got to let it slide that's the thing it's, it's not a <laughs> no. you know um, and once you get it right and the, and the steering's sort of light and it all handles it's, it's yeah it's a fantastic feeling yeah, it's a good feeling once yeah. you get yeah it is a really yeah. good feeling I don't think you, you can't explain to people what the foot that feeling is like now. yeah I love it I can't stop thinking about it I've been looking at adjustable anti-roll bars now already <laughs> but no it's been really good and, and uh, we've had a fabulous day today and uh, a really good crowd so people you've got to get involved with this MG Metro Cup because they're, they're unsung heroes really everyone goes with the classic minis which are fantastic and beautiful don't get me wrong but there's just something about the, the me mini Metro it's just iconic you know you've got the six R four out of it and everything didn't you? so yeah. I mean yeah. I know it's not really yeah. quite that <laughs> but no, the shells are the same and leave, near but enough yeah, yeah but it's yeah it leave with imagination but it is wonderful and, and thank you for having us here today Paul oh, it's, it's been a pleasure, pleasure. and I it's love going out in the car I love sharing this because <laughs> you don't you don't get it normally no no and, you know you no. watch on the sidelines you just, just don't get it no no it is it's yeah. wonderful it's a good it's a good club it really is it's, it's really been brilliant thank you very much indeed pleasure So keep quiet, he'll never know, he'll never know, look, look, this is perfect spot for him. Quick leg it. As our regular viewers know, we're building a mini challenge car, but I quite like the metros. They're all right, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, they're not so that bad. We're here with Ben Williams, and he's going to tell us all about the Metro Cup. Ooh, that's but a big task. First, we want to know how you got into racing. This is a question we asked everybody, really. How did the racing thing start for you? And um, like that, really. Well, I mean, how far back do you want to go? <laughs> yeah. like? uh, so, uh, my dad in 1989, this is 11 years before I was born, he uh, bought a Mark I Metro Turbo. Okay. And... Uh, Ran it for a few years, met my mum. Uh, long story short, uh, it got written off. Uh, he planned to restore it, but uh, sadly, I came along in the year 2000. And uh, <laughs> that a mistake. Yeah, 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 no, not a mistake, <laughs> no. no. Uh, so, anyway, that, that happened, and, and I sort of obviously, as you start to get to about nine years old, you, you, you know, you become into the teenage years, so to speak. 
he uh, he decided that he wanted to do something, and he, he you know he looked at this car that was sat in a million pieces and thought, hmm, well, let's have a look at that, shall we? So anyway, he found the Metro Cop, and we went to Cadwell Park, uh, his local track, and we went and spectated. And he thought, oh, this is quite good, this, actually. Yeah, I quite like this. This, 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 could, this could be a bit of me, this. Yeah. So anyway, well. yeah. yeah. But he's, he's had, he's had uh, motorsport and Formula One and, and cars, you know, in his blood, so yeah. to speak. Uh, and it rubbed off on me. Um, and then he started to build a car over a couple of years. And I think it was 2011 or 2012 was his first race. And ever since then, I have not looked away from the Metro Cop. Yeah. And I said to him all those years ago, I was like, I'm going to do this, you know. I'm, I'm going I'm to do this. Anyway, so I did it. Uh, when I turned, I got my race license in 2021, beginning of 21, and we've been switching me and him between okay. this car. Yeah. So you you do half a season or? or yeah. So it, it? we used to. So first year we alternated. So he'd do a race weekend and I'd do a race weekend and he'd do one and so on. Um, and then uh, I can't remember when it was. It was 2023. We decided that I would do a full season. He was like, go on, see what you can do. <laughs> so I did a full season. First ever full season in motorsport came fourth in the championship. Good, yeah. So I was quite pleased with that and I thought, oh, I can actually, I, th I think I can do this. I think I might have found something I might not be too bad at. Anyway, so uh, that was 2023. Uh, decided to buy a house of all things. So I've had to take a, a, a few steps back. A yeah. few steps back. Yeah. But you know, we're still coming to the, you know, these events where the Metro Cup of, of have supplied as a garage and I thought well oh, let's come along and let's speak to people like yourselves you know yeah. like-minded individuals and, and the other people that are around us today in the pits um, just trying to get more people involved because I'm very 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 passionate about the natural car because yeah, they are cracking little cars I mean if you're old like me you've seen them over years and years and years and years and they've always been bloody good to be fair everyone goes for the classic minis but I think the metros are just as much fun if not more fun to be honest with you um, so yes, it, it, the other thing on you know about the championship, you know, is it, it, it is it cost effective for you? You know, what sort of entrance fees and what did it cost you for a year? And well, the term cheap, now that gets thrown around, but any motorsport, as we know, is not cheap. There's a, a, a always a large uh, bill and a constant cost. However, we believe it is the cheapest form of motorsport that you can do. Mm -hmm. Now, looking at the cars that are for sale and the, and the, the, how, the rate in which you go through parts, tyres especially. Um, you know, we're, we're looking at maybe four and a half to six thousand pound is the maximum limit for a car. That's mm. race repair, transponder, in-date fire extinguisher, everything. You can get in it, turn the key and off you go. Mm. Only thing you need to do is put fuel in it. Yeah. So you'll be looking between the four and a half and six thousand pound mark. And then the uh, race entry fees in 2024 were, I believe, £445 per weekend. That's not bad. So it's not yeah. terrible. No, so, not that's, terrible. Uh, so that was for a 20-minute race and a 15-minute race as well. So it's two races you get two and races. a qualifying as well. Yeah. Uh, and so they're all double headers. You know? right, every yeah, every okay. weekend was a double header. You always yeah, had two races. Used to be like that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So um, fuel, is the fuel expensive or? It's just Shell V-Power. Yeah. That's yeah. all it is. It's just yeah. no. You're not allowed to use additives, so there's none of that business. Um, but yeah, you are uh, basically. It's just a case of putting some fuel in it and going. And all you realistically need to do is change your between events. All oh, right. Okay. And that is pretty much the only Rumble maintenance you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a bit more maintenance free than a mini, let's say, or an A series. Yeah. Let's let's put it that yeah. way. Especially the K series. That is the K series is the most cost effective. Yeah. Okay, so there's two, there's two. You can have two types of engine, can't you? Yes. So you can have the K series, mm -hmm. which your one's got. Yep. Which is an uh, an old uh, MG ZR, for instance, or something. And basically, it's just a, a rebuilt ZR and 25 cross. Okay. Uh, people use the the damp or wet liners, getting a bit technical, but ultimately it is just a, a Rover 25 or a ZR engine. There's had some had a light refresh, and then away you go. Yeah. And the other engines you, you're allowed to use? Uh, no, the just that. Uh, yeah, what? Yes. Yeah. So they are the A series. I'm not particularly clear upon the A series, but you are allowed to quite heavily modify those. Okay. Um, you're allowed to use a turbo. Yep, yeah, yeah. you are allowed to use a turbo. Max psi of eight. So yeah. that's it. That's limited. Uh, and then you're allowed the naturally aspirated 1380 as well. Okay. Um, suspension. What's the suspension? What are you allowed to do with suspension? Uh, suspension is is relatively limited, but you are also allowed a bit of freedom. So you were allowed to fit uh, rear turrets uh, for the shock absorbers. Uh, front shock absorbers are free. 
Um, but mainly for, for myself, I, I, the only trick piece I've got is a rear anti roller, okay. and that is it. Apart from that, it's just uh, refreshed hydroelastic yeah. cans, some cut rods, and uh, some bump stops. And that is, and that is your kit. And you've got the back end more or less on the van stops. Haven't you? Exactly, yeah. yeah. And, the, and the rear suspension, um, when you're sat in the car, is just gently touching the top of the bump stops. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's good fun. It's it good is. Fun package. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll we'll take you out. We'll yeah. take you out. Yeah, we yeah. are going out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Well, thank you very much indeed, Ben. That no was, problem. No problem. So MG Metro Cup, that's the one. That's the kitty. Thank you. Thank you. Now. What? You go steady, mate. You go. Don't you go hurting yourself? Because yeah, if you go hurting yourself, don't, I'll have your sister after me. <laughs> don't show them where I've got the <laughs> <laughs> Like Wallace and Gromit, isn't it? What you got the what? You got the long trousers on, have you? Yeah. yeah. I need a wee. <laughs> <laughs> you'll need you'll need a wee in a minute. <laughs> Glasses, no need glasses. What, your safety? No, they're not safety oh, glasses. Oh, they're not safety glasses. No, they're just normal glasses. They steam up, probably. Oh dear me, I tell you what, you do look attractive in them. <laughs> <laughs> Yourself? Oh, it's unbelievable. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Left foot breaking around tops is unbelievable. <laughs>
Scott, thanks very much for watching the episode. Yep, thanks, Coming everybody. from Silverstone. That yeah. was good, that was, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, it was good. Um, yeah, we'd like to thank Ben Williams, Paul Deacon, and the Hickford Construction MG Cup. You just about remembered that, yeah. didn't you? I also want to thank my neighbour, actually, because we've been having a lot of wind lately, haven't we? And I wanted to thank my neighbour who came round and covered my car up to stop all the leaves all going on it. She covered it up for me. So, uh, tarpaulin. Do you get it? Tarpaulin. Do you get it? Do you get it? <sighs> Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and a lovely comment. And a share would be wonderful. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> That's about right, that, isn't it? <laughs> that distance, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 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 That was super. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>